But Megan obviously is a very accomplished public speaker. Um, and it's quite interesting because Kate isn't. Mm. So Megan is very eloquent off script. Yeah, she just yeah. talks eloquently about the stuff that because she's, she's used to about. speaking in public, isn't she? Whereas Kate is much more. And I think that's because Kate's going for the proper job. You know, Kate's yeah. going to be queen. And I think queen, when you're going to be queen, you'll be very careful what you leave behind words wise as yeah, a legacy because yeah. it might jump up and bite you. Um, but yeah, I mean, and also there's no pressure on Harry and Meghan really because. They're not, you know, they're quite far down the pecking order, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I have... So, you know, they can probably be a bit more political. I'm probably going to be, like, of the opinion of nobody else in the whole entire world, but I just don't get it. I don't get any of it. What I'm do you like, mean? You don't get in, what? Yeah. I don't get why we're so obsessed with these humans that are exactly the same. Like, it could be us four sitting there. I just don't get it. But um, are you talking about... What, you mean as royals or yeah. as, like, Kim Kardashian? Because, for me, they're becoming celebrities. Well, yeah, to me, that, that's all they are. The is, Queen, is, is their it, celebrity. for me, is brilliant. I for, love for the what? Queen. Yeah. What, how, what, that, you know, for I've... duty, responsibility, She's always worked head. really hard, hasn't she? But I would she? work hard if the whole country paid for me to have, like, 12 houses and work really hard. No, they don't... No, they don't pay for all of the houses. But, Just but, a few. <laughs> no, we, we, we contribute... About 39 million a year to it costs 300 million a year to run the royal family. But I mean, I'm with you after the Queen, I'd have them all on bicycles and living in a terraced house. Mm. But I love the Queen, I think she's fantastic. But I think the more that they try to be relevant, they've actually said we want to be relevant to our generation, which is you, and that's why they're doing a lot of this kind of much more touchy feely stuff. Mm. And I think that will. Are that they becoming will, just too accessible, you know, really? Then Is yeah, that what we're sort because of... then people are going to go. Well, they're just like us. Mm. Well, if they're just like us, yeah. What's the why deal? do they need all that? But uh, people are thinking that already, even without them doing all of those things. I'm already thinking, you know, like it's freezing cold outside and people are homeless and these people have like houses to spare. And I, it does sometimes become a little bit frustrating because I don't see the purpose of that, all of that money going to this entire family. <laughs> Have you watched the sorry, crime yet? Sorry to everyone. I know it's, it's the Queen thing, though, as you said, but that is because there's a bit of mystique still there. Is that totally? Maybe that is. So, the never complain, never explain. It sustains the monarchy. Yes. Throughout, and mm -hmm. you know, now everybody's complaining and explaining about everything, <laughs> and I, I just think, you know, by the time. William, King William is on the throne, it'll be a very different monarchy yeah. and much diminished. Yeah, yeah.